To draw the Lewis structure for S2 minus the sulfide ion, let's first draw the Lewis structure for just sulfur as it appears on the periodic table. On the periodic table, sulfur is a neutral element. It doesn't have a charge. So we'll get rid of our charge here and then we'll change the name to sulfur. So sulfur is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. That means it has six valence electrons. So let's put those six valence electrons around the sulfur. So that's the Lewis structure for just sulfur, what we find on the periodic table. We're interested in the sulfide ion. And remember, sulfide ion has a negative 2 charge. So let's put our 2 minus charge back here, and then let's change this name to the sulfide ion. So the sulfide ion, the negative 2, or the 2 minus, that means we have two additional valence electrons. Electrons are negative, and we have two negative charges. So let's add two additional electrons around the sulfur. When we do that, we have eight valence electrons around the sulfur. That's a very stable arrangement. We call that an octet. And that's why sulfur forms this two minus charge when it forms an ion. One last thing we should do, we do need to put brackets around it, and that'll give us the correct notation for the Lewis structure for the sulfide ion. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for S2 minus, and thanks for watching.